Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update. We've just had the second pig crisis meeting here in London. So the NPA, Zoe Davis and myself uh, in the room, various processes as well on the screen, plus other pig producers. Um, no retailers at the meeting today, so a smaller meeting. Um, trying to resolve what is a worsening situation with well over 40,000 healthy pigs culled to date. And of course the new per perfect storm of massively rising uh, feed costs. So when we see wheat at £300 a tonne, soya at £460 a tonne, th those costs, those feed costs have doubled uh, in the time that pig prices have continually been falling. So it needs everybody involved to play their part. It needs government to play its part, which I'm delighted that the farming minister is doing all she can but retailers really need to step up to the plate here we need to be selling much more British at the true value of British production costs so 300 pounds a ton for wheat pig prices have got to be there otherwise this is just unviable for everybody we've got to see more British pig meat getting out into the food service sector and into procurement as well and of course the China market needs to open right up that is currently 30 percent down so a, a total perfect storm. We are going through um, section 20 of the Agricultural Act. This of course is how the scheme is being used, that scheme. I'm delighted the Minister is saying that that will be continued, but that is only one part of what needs to happen. These pig farmers cannot continue to survive and indeed won't continue to survive unless urgent action, direct aid is given. Um, so I will update you as a when, but my goodness is this a, a sign for what the new world needs to be focusing on. We've got to have contracts that genuinely mirror the cost of production, otherwise the value of British, it just will never work. Um, also today we have at the NFU uh, committed 25,000 to the humanitarian uh, aid, um, the crisis that is unfolding in Ukraine at the moment. So please do uh, go to uh, NFU online, you can see the details for that DCAP appeal. Of course the first £20 million being match funded by the government so it's really important that we can give money as soon as possible. I wrote alongside all the farming union presidents yesterday to our fellow farmers in Ukraine to offer our unequivocal support to them and indeed to all the people of Ukraine at this extraordinary time that they are, are going through. And we of course do stand absolutely shoulder to shoulder with them and we'll do everything in our power to help and support them come through the devastating times that they are facing. So I just urge all of your, uh, you, our members, to, to work with us and to help them that appeal is, is live and as I say all the details will be shared with you there out on social media as I speak. Um, it's obviously the first week of induction for the new office holder team so um, yeah welcome to the new and emerging world. Um, it really is uh, I, I think a, a total global game changer what is going on. Only one uh, crossing uh, in the Black Sea of course that is not crossable at the moment and uh, a lot of grain stands locked behind that and what this will mean for the implications of buying out of Russia in the years to come goodness only knows but I know many parts of the world are, are really waking up to actually what this means I think it's early days on, on that front I think our focus at the moment has to be on helping and supporting the people of Ukraine and hoping that this war ends as soon as possible so with that and as ever, please do take care, look after yourselves, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.